Welcome to a Golden Edge video, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. What up? What up, everyone? Hey, 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 hey. As you can tell, we be using the same song today, but it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I wanted to talk about free agency for the Golden Knights. They won the cup, baby. Take that, haters. Suck our, you know what? Suck it. Suck it, haters. Yeah. Anyway. We got to talk about a signing that took place. We'll get to Logan Thompson. But this man on the screen, baby. This man, Aiden Hill, has signed. Aiden Hill has now signed with the Golden Knights. Close to contract extension, essentially. They're still getting the ink on the paper. Ready for him to get the pen on the paper. Ready for them to sign it. Yeah! Aiden Hill inks a... Well, is getting ready to sign a... 4.9 a two-year 4.9 million dollar contract a year contract that's about 9.8 million dollars with the vegas golden knights um listen i think he i think he deserves it honestly he honestly right i i, I think he he deserves it because he's the one that got us the cup look lorumbro squad did amazing and I'm happy he was there, and I'm happy he got us through two se like the the Edmonton series and the uh, Winnipeg series, Winnipeg and Edmonton. But Aiden Hill took over from Game Three, played those games like a boss, and then went against the Dallas Stars, and of course against the uh, failing Florida Panthers, who got their payback from Jonathan Marshall and Riley Smith, who was just traded. <laughs> anyway. Um, Hayden Hill is set to sign that contract. And I think that he does deserve it because of the fact that he made unbelievable stops. Unbelievable. He kept the Golden Knights in the game even when they lost. Because they're the Golden Knights and they don't know how to not lose. But they, hey, they got the cup. Whatever. Uh, Oscar's going to like that. But he kept the Golden Knights in the games. Period. Honestly. So, good for Aiden Hill good for the golden knights they've had a revolving goalie issue and it's needed to change but obviously this uh, this happens because they got rid of flurry i honestly think flurry would have still gotten us to the cup i'm still bitter oscar knows that oscar montiel our our guy uh but uh, honestly i'm just i'm just kind of happy that this is happening now in regards to uh let's get to logan thompson logan thompson is set to I guess he's, he said to have some meetings. Uh, managers, other GMs are reaching out to um, uh, to 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 Kelly McCrimmon, I should say. I'm sorry. Uh, for Logan Thompson. Now, look, Logan Thompson came up in 2021 uh, and 2022 and played those games. He had, you know, you look at different uh, amounts per victory, 36,000, uh, 37,000, 50,000, 120, 150, $250,000 per victory for uh logan thompson and uh i think as a gm as kelly mccrimmon you're gonna look at hmm how do i make our books a little smaller how do i get it cheaper but he's he's also made like 10 starts 7 to 10 starts 27 starts or whatever uh each regular season and in the regular season this year he had that injury he went down with an injury but he had 27 starts he hasn't made more than that I think Logan Thompson is, I, I think he's a bad person. He's just not very, uh, he's not a very good friendly goalie in terms of the fan base. A lot of people have told me that he's not very friendly when they go to the beer house across the street from the T-Mobile arena. My dad has told me the same thing. Uh, my friend, uh, you know, M has told me the same thing. I'm not going to list the name. But again, it's just, I, I, I just, I love Logan Thompson. I A lot of us call him like a, a little baby flurry because He's absolutely done incredible for the Golden Knights. And I think as a GM, you're probably going to look at it. I don't know that they're going to get rid of Logan Thompson, knowing that, of course, they have a, a goalie problem. Aiden Hill is not going to be able to start every single game. And they need to be careful in case he goes down with injury. Knock on wood, hopefully not. But knock on wood, again, hopefully not. But again... They need to be careful with that. Of course, they do have Robin Leonard. Now, Robin Leonard is a tricky character. He's not good. He's slow. He's always been that way. Now, he had that hip surgery. He's going through bankruptcy. I don't think the Golden Knights want that drama around. And, um, you know, because, of course, they look for character. Characters like Andre, uh, Mark andre Fleury that they got rid of. I'm just reminding everybody. Um, but, again, um, they could do a buyout 
just buy out his contract but then that's a lot of money they're gonna lose um right now they have a, a i think about four million dollars four or five million dollars to work with they could release him but then they're still going to be eating his salary or they could trade him hopefully if they trade him they'll get at least three million dollars back so they'll have about 7.5 million dollars or some 7.6 million dollars it's between 7.3 and 7.6 million dollars to play with to sign other key players um like phil kessel like jonathan quick like others uh just to sign them and you know um uh, you know be able to win another Stanley Cup and I think you know with the the draft the um well the draft we got to talk you know we got to talk about that but with the uh cap hit going up about a million dollars I mean Kelly McCrimmon is just waiting and waiting for it to go up another two three five million dollars is what it's it's what the rumors are coming out about uh how how big the the cap's gonna get I think they should just do it like baseball, football, and basketball where there where there is no cap. I'm pretty sure there probably is, but we don't see it based on those contracts. I think that's a plus and a minus. Plus and minus because we can play play we can pay players more and not have to let them go, like Riley Smith, like Marc Andre Fleury, like Eric Halla, like Chandler Steven, or not Chandler, uh, like Max Pacioretty, like Ryan Reeves. But it also creates a minus where now players are going to start going, oh, I got all this money. Why do I need to play better? So I think Kelly McCrimmon's got his hands really full right now. And I think Logan Thompson, he might go. Robin Leonard, I hope he goes. He's just not a good goalie. No one likes him. There's a few people that like him, but even they are uh, staying quiet. But um, good for Aiden Hill. Aiden Hill, again, signs for uh, $4.9 million, two years. Uh, it's a good contract. He doubles his money, and it's a smack in the face to those teams that didn't want him. It's a smack in the face to San Jose, who got rid of him. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about Aiden Hill signing for two years, $4.8 million each, $9.8 million in total. I think it was like $5 million at first, but whatever. Just had to land on that. Uh, but let me know what you think. In the comments down below, are you happy about Aiden Hill signing for two years and why or why not? Uh, what do you think of Logan Thompson? Should he go? Should he stay? Why? Why not? And should Robin Leonard be released? Should they just buy out his contract or should they trade him? Let me know. And yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. Press the post notification bell so you never miss another one of these videos. And make sure to support us on PayPal so we can continue doing these videos. And uh, yeah, we will see you guys next time. Go Knights, go! Yeehaw!